assalamu alaikum hello everyone welcome back to my channel the maths boot today i am here with class 10th chapter 3 pair of linear equation in two variables from new ncrt textbook exercise 3.2 question number 3 third main third one let us show you in the textbook which question we are going to solve see exercise 3.2 third main third question this question we are going to solve now okay so let us see here the coach of a cricket team buys seven bats and six ball for 3800 later she buys three bats and five balls for rupees 1750 1750 find the cost of each bat and each ball so this we have to find so what they have told us to find so let us consider that only let the cost of each bat or a bat be x and the cost of each ball be y what we have considered cost of bat b we can write rupees rupees x and rupees y let us solve now how many bats according to the question according to the question here two cases we have so case 1 in first situation okay or in first condition in first condition or we can write first case okay seven bats bats what x and how many balls six balls balls we have considered as y is equals to how much rupees 3000 800 so this is our equation 1 so second condition what the second condition says this is pair of linear equation right so we will have two conditions two equations so second can she buys three bats bats are nothing but x plus five balls 5y is equal to how much rupees 1750 rupees so let us consider this as equation 2 so now let us solve by taking equation 1 we will take equation 1 by taking we know how to do substitution method right by taking equation 1 7x plus 6 we can take equation 2 also doesn't matter okay 7x plus 6y is equals to 3800 now 7x is equals to Three thousand eight hundred six y. I'll bring here. It becomes minus six y. We want only x value, right? X is equals to three thousand eight hundred minus six y upon seven. This seven is in multiply. So now we got x value. This is our x value. Okay. Put x value in equation two because we have taken equation one. Put x value in equation. So I'll take equation two now. Three x plus five y is equals to seventeen fifty. So three as it is, x value I'll write this in place of x. Three thousand eight hundred minus six y upon seven plus as it is five y as it is is equals to one thousand seven hundred and fifty. Now see we cannot cancel, so we have to multiply. Three zeros are zero, three zeros are zero, three eights are twenty-four, three threes are nine, ten, eleven, eleven thousand four hundred. We got minus three six are eighteen. Why? Upon complete seven. Okay. Complete seven plus five y is equals to one seven five zero. Now this seven we will multiply here and we will take that side. Okay, one 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 four zero that is eleven thousand four hundred minus eighteen y seven five zero thirty five y is equals to now this one seven five zero into seven into seven divide will go and multiply there. Now this we will solve this. Um, Minus eighteen y plus thirty five y. What we will get if we solve plus seventeen y, because bigger number sign na seventeen y 
is equals to this side if we multiply see seven zeros are zero seven five are thirty five seven sevens are forty nine fourteen fifty fifty one fifty two seven ones are seven eight nine ten eleven twelve what we got twelve thousand two hundred and fifty now this eleven thousand four hundred I'll bring this side it becomes minus eleven thousand four hundred this eleven thousand four hundred I bought this side now here seventeen y as it is is equal to twelve thousand two hundred and here we'll do minus twelve thousand two hundred and fifteen minus eleven thousand four hundred this zero as it is five as it is from two we cannot so carry one twelve minus four is eight so eight fifty we got eight fifty okay now y is equals to eight fifty by seventeen we all know that seventeen five is a eighty five seventeen one is a seventeen seventeen five is a eighty five this zero as it is so we got y value is equals to what fifty okay now we got y value as fifty let us see now what we'll get x value now here right i'll write here actually continuation of this okay now we want x value right x is equal to 3800 minus 6 y value is 50 upon 7 okay x is equal to 3800 as it is minus 6 5 is a 30 0 as it is 3800 minus 300 is what we got upon 7 is there now as it is 3800 minus 300 3500 3500 by 7 now see here 7 1 the 7 7 5 are 35 so x value what we got 500 therefore x is what cost of bat therefore cost of each bat is rupees 500 and cost of each ball is rupees 50. So this complete the question number 3 of third main from exercise 3.2. In my next video I am coming up with the next problem. Do like and share and subscribe my channel. Thank you.